Hello Vets, Rick Seaman here for Veterans Network. We're going to run a video for you that I think you'll really enjoy, especially if you're a music fan. Uh, this is a ceremony hosted by Willie Nelson. Uh, they're awarding Veteran of the Year. And uh, the recipient is sort of an unlikely candidate and an unlikely hero. He was the son of an Air Force general. He was a Golden Gloves boxer. He was a Rhodes Scholar from Oxford University. He joined the Army, went through OCS, airborne training and ranger training, graduating at the top of those classes. He was selected for Special Forces training, but opted instead to go into helicopter flight school, where he rose to the rank of captain flying Huey gunships. He completed his military career as a rank of major. Let's take a look and see who it is. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome a veteran of the United States Air Force, country music legend, Willie Nelson. Thank you very much. Good evening. I'm very proud to be here tonight to help honor my dear friend, Chris Christofferson. And it's even more a pleasure to be honoring him for something that he's not normally recognized, the fact that he served his country in the armed forces. And you know Chris loves America. He loves the good things that she stands for, and he believes in truth and justice. Chris Christofferson believes in people, and he believes in the underdog, that the better angels in all of us should prevail and will if you stand up for them. And I think that it's pretty safe to say if Chris's life had gone in another direction, had he stayed in the Army, he would be a general today. And he would be the kind of general that they wrote songs about in the days of yore. But instead, he became one writing the songs. And our lives have been forever enriched by it, and I know mine has been. I don't know exactly what would have happened had Chris become that general, but I do know one thing. I knew some things that would not have happened. He would not have stopped being a leader, and he would not have stopped fighting for everything right and decent in the world, and he would still believe in the things that make America great. So the Army may have lost a general, but the world gained a conscience. And in recognition of that, I'm proud to present the Veteran of the Year Award to Chris Christopherson. <laughs> to say I was surprised to learn that I was going to be given this award because over the years I've managed to piss off more than a few people <laughs> standing up for Nicaragua or Leonard Peltier or Cesar Chavez but I've always been proud of my time in the army and my jump wings and my ranger tab and uh, the lessons I learned there have served me well in my life. Whew. I can't believe Willie said all that. <laughs> oh, and I've always felt like my brothers in arms are my brothers. I, I grew up before, during, and after World War II in a time and a family where duty, honor, and country were taken for granted. And so I'm proud to accept this for my father and my grandfathers and my uncles and my brother Craig and my, my brother, excuse me, my brother-in-law George and my cousin Rick and uh, on behalf of all of the men and women who've served in the armed forces and who are serving today and who will be tomorrow I wish the people making the decisions today that are determining our future were the military men like Colin Powell and Wesley Clark, Amram Mitzna, maybe 
military service ought to be a requirement of our political leaders today. Thank you. My, my band and I did a show on an aircraft carrier somewhere out in the Indian Ocean on a, a USO tour, and after the show, uh, which contained a lot of strong anti-war songs, the commander of the ship came up to me and shook my hand, and, and he said, out here we consider ourselves to be a force for freedom. He looked me in the eye and he said, we consider your music a force for freedom, too. And I will do my damnedest to live up to that, to be worthy of it, and to be worthy of this award. Thank you. Thank you.